what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to be planting out some California Wonder bell peppers. Um, and I'm actually going to be putting them in my aquaponic system. I've already had the pot sitting in the uh, aquaponic system and the roots started to take. So I'm going to show you how I take off all, you know, all the soil and stuff and then um, put them in my AP system. So anyway, let's get to it. All right. So what I like to do is I like to get the pots, you know, obviously pull off all this stuff and then just kind of loosen up the soil. Not kind of, actually loosen up the soil. And then um, I take the majority of the soil out because um, I don't want that in my AP system. Oh, there's already worms in this. Um, and there's worms in this because I had this in my aquaponic system just sitting already. So uh, these worms, I want to return back to the system. Um, so, you know what, I'll just get all the soil off first. And this is gonna go in my compost pile. Uh, I'll go through it later and get all the worms. But basically you wanna to try to keep some of that root um, intact. This is just the initial cleaning basically of the roots. Um, I'm gonna do uh, one that's finer, but I'm gonna do it closer to the grow bed. I just wanted to show you guys. I get the bulk of this off. Okay, so that's pretty good already. So, the next one here. That's why it's important to loosen this up as best you can. So, because you want to get most of that off. Um, it isn't a really big deal that you get soil in your aquaponic system. You just don't want a ton of it because um, it's good for the worms and I got worms in the uh, grow beds and so basically they they will take care of a lot of that dirt because dirt just basically you know a bunch of leaves and whatever else um, natural basically so good little shake little loosen up dang there's a lot of worms in these I'm like I don't want you to leave the grow beds And I don't want all this perlite and stuff in there floating around. It's not that big of a deal because like I said, I mean, <clears throat> these are gonna stay in the grow beds anyways. And it's not that big of a deal if you have just a little. So that's pretty good. The worm. See? So anyway, that's proof that they inhabit the root system of your plants. So anyways, so that's what I got. Now I'm gonna do another additional rinse off, but I'm gonna do that closer to my grow beds. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, so something you wanna keep in mind is that um, when, you, when you basically are gonna rinse off your plants, you want to make sure that you put them in the water from your system because the pH in the water at this point should be good in your system. So, I'm going to rinse these off and then I'm going to place them in this grow bed here. <clears throat> and I already kind of I already kind of did that, so um, so they should be good to go. So, and that's kind of what you want there. Okay? You want the root system to be pretty clean. So, um, and then you also another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the uh, water in your grow bed's almost at the top and right now it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig my holes and the reason why you want that is because it's actually easier to dig the holes um, I'm gonna take the bell out that way it doesn't overflow because it's just about ready to do that so and then what I do is I'll I'll wrap them just a little bit and then I'll take them and the reason why you want the water in there also is because the gravel's really loose and so you're not crushing the root system okay so and then you just hold it up there and pull it up to where you want it. I know I'm putting it close to this tomato plant right over here, but I'm gonna be taking that tomato plant out of this bed. All right, so let's get the other one here. Yep, that one's good too. 
Okay, nice clean roots pretty much. Um, and then the worms will take care of everything else that I miss. So. go that's how easy it is to plant these out so they will start to uh, they're already acclimated to the system because when I put the pots in there um, the roots basically went down into the system um, into the water and so they're already acclimated um, so they shouldn't have too much of a shocker but um, yeah should be good so I'll give you guys updates on these straighten them out and stuff pull out that tomato plant and I'll give you guys some updates on this one um, but yeah, that's how I plant out my bell peppers in my aquaponic system. You just rinse off the roots and they're pretty much good to go. So, uh, let me show you my bell pepper, or not my bell peppers, my, um, jalapeno peppers. Um, I had them in the system now for a year and they're doing pretty good. I still am dealing with water issues because I really don't have a lot of time. Um, I just work a lot on a lot of different projects. So, oh, wow. There's a worm. Oh. Yeah, they're breeding in this already. Because here's a, uh, if I can get it, a worm egg. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that. There's like a worm egg right on there. So, anyway, that's good. They're breeding in the system, so which is awesome. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys my jalapeno peppers and uh, show you guys kind of where I'm at right now with the aquaponic system. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting a lot more done. It's just I got to have time to do it. So anyway, let's go check out everything else. Well, instead of walking you through the entire system, I'll do that on another clip. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys my jalapeno peppers. I mean, obviously some of these are already ready to, to pick. Um, not the hugest ones, but these were when my water wasn't doing too good. Um, but now the water's doing pretty good, so I'm getting new peppers in that are nice size and, uh, you know, eatable. I mean, there's got to be about 40, 40 or so jalapenos on here, you know, all at different stages of growth and stuff. So, <clears throat> so yeah, peppers seem to be doing okay. Um, this is another plant I had. And I think this one has a disease or something because this is just the leaves are just not doing good and the peppers This is a banana sweet banana pepper. So and the peppers aren't doing too good either um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not a professional. So I have no idea why this is doing this I've gotten thousands of opinions um, I've tried a ton of different things and uh, one of the things that I think I went wrong uh, with my system is I basically I think I basically, because um, I used RO water to lower my pH, and um, I think it stripped too many minerals from my system. So that's why I think I'm having issues, um, but I'm trying to rectify that problem. So anyways, yeah, peppers seem to be doing really well in this system, and I just planted out these two right here, and so uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyways. Um, like always, God bless you guys, and uh, yeah, peace. Check out the fish tank, my other channel. I'm going to be doing videos on there too because uh, I love fish tanks. So, <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys, and uh, have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh, yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.